Hey mangoes, it's a mango and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to create these two sky themed phone wallpapers on Clip Studio Paint. So I've been making my own phone wallpapers for a while now and I just find it so fun and easy to do. You can make these in any aesthetic style you want. I made these two according to the different night and daytime. So the general size I found for phone wallpapers that has good resolution is 1436 by 3113. So I'm creating a night sky first for which I am putting down a simple base color. Then I'm using rough wash to give the sky more color. I'm going around with different shades of blues and purples and greens. And then I'm blending it all out with textured blender brush. Next I'm using airbrush and I'm using a variation of tone scraping droplet spray to give a starry effect. With this you really have to eyeball it and see what looks best according to your drawing. Another trick to creating a nice sky is layering. Layering helps you give a nicer effect of things that are further away or closer together. So it's nice to layer out your colors and then your stars and then your colors again. To give this nice circle effects of stars, I use the droplet brush and I just increase the thickness. This was a nice effect to go around the moon. And then I just use the circle selection tool to create a perfectly shaped moon. I also use the circle selection tool to create a white ring around the moon that I just blended it out to give a sort of hue. This little trick helps centralize the moon a lot more. Now my favorite part about Clip Studio Paint are the decoration brushes. They have such a nice variety of different brushes that can help you with making any kind of illustration easily and quickly. So now I've just gone into the vegetable subtool decoration and I am using the pine trees brush to create a forest. And that is how quickly and easily I made the night sky wallpaper. Now for the day sky wallpaper, we are pretty much going to do the same. I am putting down a light blue base color and using gouache in white to create clouds. Like before, I am going to be coloring the clouds in layers to give the forward and backwards effect. Clouds tend to overlap each other, so even they have shades and shadows. In that sense, it is always nice to shade them light when overlapping. You can check out my previous video where I go into details about shading techniques in Clip Studio. So once I am done with creating the clouds, I move on to creating the telephone pole. I don't know what it is about telephone poles, but they are always fun to look at in any drawing. So I am creating the basic shape of the pole for which I am using the polygon line tool from figures. And for the cables, I am using the basic pincer curve tool.
and that's it in the end i also created a rip off painting using watercolor brushes but that was just mostly for experimentation but this is how easily you can create your own phone wallpapers so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video as usual please like and subscribe and leave any questions you have in the comments below